Welcome back. We're here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 12, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start a look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did have a massive rally on Friday where we're up nearly 1% at the end of the session, and we're up 0.91%. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD has crossed the signal line. That is a bullish sign. RSI is bullish. CGI has become bullish, and so is the stochastic. Everything is pointing to um, to uh, momentum continuing to the upside. However, there are several moving averages that we have to get through in order to go back to these previous highs here. But we did test the 200 moving average for quite some time found massive support here so it may well be that we'll continue in this trend there is still room here to the up, uh, upside of the uh, bullish band before we run into resistance we also have the 100 moving average and the 50 moving average just above and the most probably bullish shine here is that there's no pullback at the end of the session and that usually means that this will continue higher if we fall from here then 200 moving average will mostly be the target so let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen, and this fell like an absolute rock on Thursday. Only to bounce off the 100 moving average and then continue rallying um, on Friday. But it found resistance here at the 40 exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators for this currency pair, we can see that the MACD is still very bearish. The RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is stochastic. So there's a lot of work to be done before we enter this um, this channel again if we get rejected here then we may topple back down towards the 100 moving average but if we get into this channel yet again then we may go back towards 112 we were are we were significantly overstretched here on thursday that's probably the reason why we had the rally also on friday a break below the 100 moving average well then we could drop all the way down to the 150 down here at 108 so let's look at the euro US dollar. This did not rally as significant as the Great British Pound in the US dollar. So it managed to get back towards the 20 exponential and then stop there. So nothing really happened here. And um, we were very overstretched as we have been selling off in this currency pair for quite some time now, basically in the middle of May until now we have been selling off in this currency pair. But uh, rallies will most likely be sold into so up towards the 20 exponential probably the 300 moving average those have those will most likely be sold into and then we can probably continue lower so if we break below these candlesticks here then we most likely will go targeting these previous lows here back in in the um, uh, in the start of uh, of april and if that breaks then we will most likely target these uh, previous lows at the double bottom here from October and November last year. But that is to be seen. If we get rejected here at the 20 exponential, then we continue to fall. Break about the middle of the bullish band, then we could go and test the top of the bullish band, which is around 12.95. Otherwise, technical indicators, they are all turning around. Momentum looks like it is changing to the upside as we have been rallying quite significantly in the last two trading days. So, Aussie dollar, US dollar, this was also up nearly one uh, percent and uh, it didn't really get that um, significant as we are still underneath the 300 moving average we have the 20 exponential and well 0 0.75 just above as well which has offered massive resistance in the past this was very overstretched here in the bullish band so also in the rsi has recovered a little bit technical indicators they are not very bullish even though we have a very bullish candlestick here our MACD is still bearish, the RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and uh, we are still far away from the middle of the bullish band and have not managed to break above it yet. So if you get rejected at 300, then we may go and test the previous bottom here yet again, break below that, well, that could send us all the way down to 0 0.71. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. This, of course, needed a pullback very similar to this question is whether or not we'll bounce off the 20, 100 or the 40 exponential moving average when we get to that point. This was very overstretched with this shooting star here. So the question is whether we'll probably drop below the middle of the bullish band or all the way down to the very bottom of 12, 
24, which is just above the uh, 50 moving average. So at the current stage, 200 is acting as resistant. Uh, 2040 have acted as support. It has been, it's been bouncing off the 20 and the 40. And uh, if that trend continues, then we'll probably take out 200 and just continue higher. Technical indicators, they are, well, still bullish, some of them. MACD is bullish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic. So even though we have this fold here, it's pretty much still we're in an uptrend. The question is whether or not this uptrend continues or we break down back towards this, this lower channel here. So hope you find yourself willing to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.